Hey guys, welcome back to Film Central. Today we're taking a look at 8 bars that John Taffer could not save. This will be a follow up on our last week's video. If you are new here, we would like to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button on your screen and also hit the bell icon to never miss out on any future videos. We make stuff like this all the time and it would be a shame if you were to miss out on any of it. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. You did not humiliate this bar in front of the customers. This is totally wrong. You're focused on your ego. Nobody else views this the way you do, Ami. Sarah, is there anything I'm saying that you think is unreasonable? Not at all. The first bar that we have is Gypsy. Gypsy was a popular bar in Las Vegas area. Taffer revisioned it as SBLV, but the bar didn't even make it to the end credits of the show. The owner refused to show up on the opening night of the club, and he never reopened the bar after the bar rescue left. He planned to renovate and reopen the bar, but it never happened. The show portrayed him as a psychotic, abusive, drunk gay man only his out of work bartenders know for sure the second bar we have is marley's on the beach this was a bar that was in the rhode island area that turned into a complete failure after taffer decided to turn it into a caribbean tiki themed restaurant bar named michelle's beach club his reasoning there wasn't any caribbean food in his neighborhood that makes total sense, especially since it shut down two months after Taffer was gone. The third bar we have is Havana Cabana. This genius bar owner behind the Rocky Point, Carolina, thought heavy metal would bring in college kid crowd in Tempe, Arizona. Sadly, it did not. Despite the new rhymy name, Havana Cabana, what college student in Arizona doesn't love classic Cuban cuisine? On top of that, the city hammered the establishment for not adhering to building codes with all the renovations. The fourth bar we have is Albi Casino. Taffer's bar science experiment at this Vegas haunt led him to think the Cougar Bar is just what the town needed. After 20 years in business, Albi Casino reinvented as the Garnet Lounge, died two months after the bar rescue visited. Now where will the Cougars get drunk? and play video poker. We can only thank Taffer for this one. The fifth bar we have is South Park Bar and Grill. The South Park Bar in Montclair, New Jersey, was originally the pilot for the bar rescue and was finally aired this past season. The bar was a train wreck. The town itself not wanting to give them their liquor license back after they lost it. Guess the V bar never had a chance. They got busted for illegal drug use on the premises, among other things. The best thing Taffer could have done was wipe the place out with a bulldozer. The sixth bar we have is Kashmir. This episode is best known for its insane, drunk, overcompensated bar manager who got hammered constantly and kept screaming his catchphrase, All In. The Raphael North Carolina bar got renamed Dual Ultra Nightclub at the end and ended up closing in May of 2014. They blamed Taffer for not understanding the demo of the town they were in, which they said, which they say put the nail in the coffin. Listen, Taffer knows bar science. These people knew how to run a business into the ground. Who would you blame? The seventh bar we have is the Butcher Bar and Pub. Many positive outcomes have come from the show, but this is not one of them. They had a variety of problems, like a large menu, too many kegs, and a microwave they used to make food. It originally called the Drunken Donkey Bar and Grill before Taffer made his change, but they also have to seen a decrease in revenue since his arrival. Many guests are unsure why the bar needed a makeover in the first place seeing as it was always packed, but the owners paid for it in the long run as they lost customers due to the changes they made. The eighth and last bar we have is the Sandbar Brewery and Grill. This bar location in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and the name changed from the Sandbar Brewery and Grill, but went back to the old name shortly after filming ended as a patrons didn't like Playa Island Bar. Unfortunately, the rescue didn't help as they closed a few short months after filming was finished. It is still available for lease and advertised as a turnkey 
restaurant, and bar, so maybe the next owners may have more luck. I've been here for like 45 minutes and I still have Dre, do you remember his drink? What did he have? Some apple pucker mixed with whiskey. Okay, what about it? Not good here for five minutes. Sir, to say nothing to me. sir, I did not see you standing there. You saw me walk back and forth like three times. My man, my man, you ain't gotta get loud. And that is our video on the eight more bars that John Taffer could not save in the end. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already, we ask that you go ahead and smack the subscribe button and like button, and we also ask that you share this video to your friend as well. And it's been Film Central, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.